To understand the yellow and the cyan shadow, we have to remember that light travels in straight lines. So light from the red bulb travels in a straight line to the wall, but it's blocked by the pencil in this shadow over here. That's the straight line from the red to the board. In that shadow, light from the blue bulb can hit in that shadow because the blue bulb is in a different position from the red bulb. And the same with the green. So in that shadow, we have blue and green light added together to make cyan. On the other side here, where we see a yellow shadow, once again, light traveling from the blue light in a straight line to the wall is blocked right there by the pencil. But the red and the green bulbs are in different positions, so their light can fill in that shadow and make yellow light. Try making shadows with a wider object, such as this piece of paper. It will make magenta, cyan, and yellow shadows, which we now understand. But if you bring it closer to the board, I begin to see blue and red and even black shadows. Try to figure out where those colored shadows come from. If you need a hint, think about where we've seen black shadows before. Don't forget to play with colored shadows.